It is time for some advancement hunting on the Strangecraft server. Before the end of Season 3, I'd like to, uh, to clear them all off for once. And uh, Carnage, if you're watching, just a heads up, I borrowed some Amethyst Shards. I might not have told you about it in the Discord. Thank you very much. I was very nice though. I didn't take those ones on the wall just there. Isn't that good of me? Anyway, the first ones that I'm going to go for are uh, parrots and uh, ghasts. I need to look at them with a spyglass. I have not had good luck finding parrots before on this server. So let's see how that goes. So I've been hunting for about two minutes and apart from a white parrot, which turned out to be a chicken, I found absolutely nothing. However, there is an ocelot just up here. Let's see if I can get myself an ocelot head. I have way more luck getting ocelot heads than I do finding parrots. So uh, let's see if I can kill this fella. Oh, geez, he moves quick. Slow down, buddy. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. Just gonna murder you for your head, potentially. Crazy will be really mad if I get a head here. <laughs> Boom! Got a head. No one tell Crazy. Crazy, if you're watching, that's not the third head from four ocelots at all. I promise. Okay, with that excellent cat-like disguise on, birds aren't scared of cats, are they? Let's go and see if we can find a parrot. Here we go. I found another one of those white parrots, which is actually a uh, chicken. That's absolutely no good and no help whatsoever for this advancement. It's been five minutes now, I think, and... Uh, yeah, I've seen a couple of chickens, I've killed another ocelot, didn't get a head for one, so it's very disappointing. And uh, I've seen the sum total of uh, nothing else. Literally nothing. It's been another five minutes, and uh, yeah, I found this sheep. But I can see him really close up, so, you know, that's something. I've been hunting for what feels like 15 minutes. I have found three of these white parrots that are actually chickens. I saw a fish. There's something over there. Wait, what's that over there? Yes. A grey parrot. Is it a bird advancement done? And at this speed, I will have all the advancements six months after season three has finished. So we've been off to a good start. Okay, let's head into the nether and see if we can improve that with a ghast. And did I get a parrot head? Of course I didn't. Okay, let's go and find a ghast. I changed my mind. The next achievement that I'm going to get is the, uh, the the hit a bullseye on a target block from uh, 30 meters away. So uh, I'm in the community area because I went to get some redstone from the cleric. I'm going to go and land over here about 30 meters away, I guess. I I died. It's more than 30 meters away. Okay, I, if you've ever seen me use a bow, you'll know I'm absolutely and utterly superb. So I'm going to be able to hit this first time, I guarantee. There we go. Boom. No, wait, I missed two. No, Three, mm -mm, that was probably worse. Four, nope, further away still. You know what, I'll probably just edit this up in Premiere after, it'd be absolutely fine. Okay then, here we go, first time, here we go. And boom, Ab has hit the bullseye. First time folks, I promise you, would I lie to you. Let's head over and have a look at that wonderful first time bullseye. Okay, cool, first time, absolutely first time. Don't know who shot those other arrows, doesn't matter, don't worry about it. Next up, I want the Monster Hunter advancement, and to get that, I still have three mobs to kill. I need to kill a Ravager, which is why I'm here at the moment. I'm working my way through the raid. I need to kill a Silverfish, of all things. Apparently, I haven't killed a Silverfish this season. And I also need to kill a Zoglin. I think I've got that right. That's a Zombified Hoglin. That's those things in the, the nether, the, the, the pig-like things. Yeah. Those. Okay, let's get uh, let's get our way through the raid and let's get this Ravager. Here we go then. There is a Ravager over here and nothing on his back. But I don't think anything spawned on his back. I thought in raids that they always had stuff on their back. Maybe something else killed it. it wasn't me. I certainly didn't hit it with an arrow. Okay, there we go. Ravager down. Cool. If you're wondering, by the way, how I've got that advancement thing full screen, that is a mod that I've completely forgot the name of, but I will put a link to it down in the description below. It is super helpful. Apart from making it full screen, what it also does is it gives you a bit more information about the advancements and what you need to do to achieve them. So in the case of Monster Hunter, that's how I know those are the three things that I need to kill. Like there's the other one where you have to eat all the different types of food and I've still got to do that one and it tells me what I've got to eat as well. So really, really helpful. Link will be down in the description below. Right, let's go. Let's finish this raid and then let's go and find some silverfish. Changed my mind, we're going to get the Zoglin again. The raid went surprisingly well. I thought there'd be footage of me, you know, using up a totem or dying or whatever, but uh, no, I, it went really well. Barely lost any health, didn't even use a single totem. So now I'm trying to get this, uh, this Hoglin into a portal into the overworld so he'll turn into a Zoglin and then I can kill him. 
But, and I did not know this, they appear to be scared of portals. So he'll follow me, follow me, follow me, and then he runs off. I did not know this was a thing. Did anyone else know that this was a thing? Like, because I've seen them in the overworld before. I just, you know, assume they just wander through like all the other mobs. But look at him. As soon as he gets near the portal, he runs off. He knows he's going to turn into a Zoglin. Okay, I need to come up with a plan B. I think what I'm going to need to do is uh, flatten a little bit more of the area. I think I'm going to need to uh, get some blocks. I'm then going to break the portal. And then I'm going to kind of block him in much close to the portal. See if I can get him in the portal and then light it. That's my plan. I think that'll work. Okay, here we go. I've got him blocked in. The portal is broken, so I just need to pillar up, get over there. There we go. He's in the portal. So now I need to place that block back in. Now I need my flint and steel. And it turns out he can actually hit me. I did not realize I was that close. Okay, if I... Ouch. There we go. Boom. Okay, he's gone through. So now I just need to go through. This portal spawned over the top of the ocean. So he'll either be on the platform or in the ocean. Here we go. Let's find out where. Okay, he's on the platform, that's cool. Let's give him a nudge. And he's turned into a Zoglin. Let's kill him. Cool, he's in the water. Not a lot he can do now. Okay, awesome. That's a Zoglin, so we're down to the Silverfish, and then we should have that Monster Hunter advancement. Okay, I got my thinking cap on tonight, and I got some Eyes of Ender, and I found out this end portal that uh, we haven't used before and there is still a silver fish spawner here so uh yeah cool let's kill him oh he went in the block and i think with silk touch i can't get him okay we'll see if another one spawns in hopefully this one won't go straight into a stone block that would be super annoying jeez they're slow come on spawn in come on fella wait did one just spawn in and he stayed on the block there we go monster hunter done it Boom. Honestly, each one of these advancements is taking me far longer than I thought it should. I've been in the nether for like 10 minutes looking for a gas, and all I've got is that piglin and a hoglin. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Is it a balloon? Is done. Let's go into the end because there is another one for looking at the dragon. So we've got to spawn in the dragon. Let's go and check that one out. So there is a slight problem with this one. As you can see, we've done quite a lot of terraforming in the end and if I spawn in the dragon all the pillars are going to come back we've got a bee farm that should be okay it's underground all the pillars are going to come back it's going to ruin that central platform I need to go and ask the other strangers if it's okay if I spawn in the the dragon for this one because I don't think I can do this without asking that wouldn't be fair so I'm going to go and ask the strangers and we'll come back to this one later Okay then, instead of that one, we're going to do the ghast one, which is called Uneasy Alliance. I have to get a ghast through a portal into the overworld, and then I kill it. Not sure why it's called Uneasy Alliance. Maybe because I kill him, but then the alliance part makes no sense. Anyway, that's what it's called. That's what I got to do. So last night, I made a platform that was big enough for a ghast to spawn. Had all the spawning conditions required. And then I jumped up top and create like a, a little waiting platform, which is why we can see this red circle, because I wanted to see how much below the bedrock was spawning in. Not a lot. Uh, but no gas spawn. I had like two, maybe three skeletons. And uh, yeah, nothing else. And I think the reason for that is the platform wasn't really big enough. There weren't enough spawnable spots. So here's what I'm doing. I've made the portal bigger. I'm going to extend this glass around. I don't think I need to completely block it all up like I did before. And then I'm going to go back up to my AFK platform, and hopefully that will work. We can get the gas through the portal, we can follow it through and kill it. That's the plan. Right, the platform is built. We are currently in free cam using the tweaker room mod, and boom, we've got a gas spawn. He hasn't gone through the portal, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's swoop down here like Batman in Gotham City, and let's see if we can give him just a little bit of a nudge through there we go, boom, he's gone through. Let's follow him into the overworld. And here we go. And there is there is no ghast. I'm sensing a problem here. I think I think I know what the problem is. He hasn't gone anywhere else. I'm thinking a two by three portal that's generated in probably isn't big enough. I probably need to make it, you know, gas size. So new plan. We're going to try this again. I'm going to make this pool bigger. I'm going to make this whole room just a little bit bigger so he's got somewhere to go. We're going to sweep up top again. 
sweep back down like that, man, and see if that works. Let's see how that goes. Okay, third time is the charm. We're on a AFK platform. One just born. It was really, really brief because he went immediately through the, the portal. So hopefully our hard work making that room bigger has paid off. Let's head through and take a look. Here's the big reveal. Come on, come on. And yes, yes, we have a ghast. Let's kill him. An easy alliance is done. Awesome. We'll leave all this up for the rest of the strangers. So folks, we're at around 10 minutes on this video. That's about as long as I like a video to go at this moment in time. I really want to know if it's worth my time doing another one. I have loads of footage from doing the uh, the foodie in advancements that I could definitely put into another really cool video. It went way worse than you can imagine. And uh, yeah, I want to know if it's worth my while. So the way I do that is I look at the view count, I look at the likes, I look at the comments, and then yeah, if it's got plenty of views, it's got plenty of likes, plenty of comments, then I'll make another one. So if you have made it this far in the video and you have enjoyed it, you think I've earned it, hit that like button. Comment down in the, de the description. I reply to almost all my comments. And uh, yeah, we'll make another video if that's what you guys want. Folks, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I have enjoyed making it. I enjoy getting these advancements. But anyway, I'm Abfielder. That's all I have time for. Goodbye.